What's up YouTube? Today is Friday, August 5th, 11.13 in the morning. I headed over to Iluso because I have to go shoot a Ferrari 355. Having some issues with getting it started, so it was only the battery. Nothing, nothing too major, just had to jump the car. And it sucks. Yesterday, oh, I'm so pissed. I sat on my sunglasses like maybe a month ago and they were super sideways. I was watching my last video and I was like, man, my sunglasses are so crooked. And now I tried yesterday to fix them and I broke them. So I don't have any sunglasses and I'm like squinting. I'm squinting so much. Sometimes I feel like... Oh, I love this car.
just took out that black Ferrari. I had to move all these cars. I'll insert some cool photos I took. the next car I have to shoot is this Escalade, which is a little bit different than what I'm used to, but it's fine with me. Really? Thing is pretty nice. Whoa. I don't know if I've ever driven an Escalade. Yeah, okay. a huge truck about to slam into my M3. I actually really, whoa, when you get close to something the seat vibrates to warn you. We're getting our door fixed right now at Iluso because it was really messed up before. But man, it's been busy. I met like I had a friend come visit this morning. I met a new person this morning at Lambo Newport. Just met another person. Man, Busy day, okay. Shoot an escalade. I mean, I would definitely drive an Escalade. I was using this as my camera stand. For my tripods, I forgot both of the heads to them. Which sucks. AC in this Escalade. So cold. I'm probably gonna head back to the office in a minute to get some uh, photos done and then go grab some food. The sun's coming out too. Might go chill on the patio for a bit. Wow, that's like the fastest moving a wheel. Look how fast that moves. Jeez. I had my car detailed just like two days ago in that last vlog. That was Monday actually, so it's been four days. So it's actually not bad. Not terrible. Some of you guys may know, sponsored by Turtle Wax, and I take pictures for them every few days. So I'm gonna take a quick photo for them, just for Instagram. Crazy weight for an oil. 1060? What the? She drinks a lot of oil. I 
also am going to the Lamborghini Newport Beach show tomorrow. So the supercar show, I'll show you an ad right here. Tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. I'll be there. Had some guy in an Acura 3 point something, 2SL, I don't know what that is. Pulled up next to me and was like, dude, that is that M3 is perfect. Man, thanks, dude. I appreciate that. I love this car. This car makes me so happy. A lot of people look at cars like just your A to B, which, yeah, they are, but when it comes down to stuff that you put your money into that you love and you actually enjoy, I know you got a Corvette trying to race me. I don't know if you guys could hear that. This is our test poster for SB Prints. Let's get this in. Let's take a look what it looks like. All right, there it is. Spencer, roll tube. There you go, Vincennes. Bug, right there. Perblanc. And Buddha, of course, in the back, right? <laughs> All right, man. So I'm going to repackage this and send it to you. In the last few videos, I've talked about my company, SB Prints. It is a company where I sell all my photography. Now, I have Devoted Society launching in about two weeks. We just placed the order yesterday. As you guys saw in my video, I put all my money on my credit card to pay for it, and it went through as a charge, and it was the biggest investment I've made for the company. Now, I wanna sell my photography because so many people have asked me, hey, where can I buy your posters? I wanna put them in my, in my room. Your current website is down. I know, I'm sorry, SB Prints will be live again in a few weeks. What we're doing is he saw my manager, Andy Cruz, he sent me a video of the test product we're doing. I'm going with a new supplier. The first supplier I used, I wasn't too satisfied with, only because of the quality and the price. I'm able to feel a little bit more comfortable with the price that I'm paying for the posters, for what I'm selling them for, the production quality, and everything else in between. So, Andy Cruz, thank you so much, bro. He's my manager. Follow his brand at 9010. He's awesome. He's been doing all my work for me for Devoted Society, for Proper Gearbox, and for SB Prints. He's managing and everything and I can't wait to get this product. So now he's gonna send me that sample he got from the new supplier. I'm gonna see how it feels, how it's packaged, basically what you guys would get if you purchased it, just to make sure that when I get it, I'm satisfied with the quality of my photography and my product I put out there. So uh, SB Prints, coming soon. I'm sorry. Dang, there's an OG song. clip was because I forgot but I got my Starbucks drink I said I wouldn't get it but I got it anyways I needed caffeine really badly so we just got the Pagani over to Lambo Newport and we're gonna have the Lambo Newport show tomorrow I have some crazy motivation like out of this world right now like I haven't felt like this in a long time it's that feeling you get when you're just like I feel like you're not gonna be able to sleep just because of how much motivation I have right now. Oh, there's two GT3s right here. And there's a white 918, look at that. Dang. I'm gonna go over here real quick. You can see in here, I don't know if you can see actually, but it's completely empty. This is that 918 that I had shot just uh, a few days ago. It's one that I drove, this thing is so cool. That's a 918 right there. So we have a ton of cars from my Lusa that'll be here. The 
insane motivation just came from, uh, I don't know, I feel like I always talk in my car so much. Let me not, I'm gonna go home and finish this conversation because that's actually pretty important. So I came into the dealership because we have the Pagani on display for tomorrow, but look at this spec. I took a picture of this thing for the, oh, look at that, check out my car, uh. I took a picture of this for the Perspective series a while ago, but the showroom is all empty. I'm gonna put this in that car. Oh, with black wheels, how good does that look? So sick. Oh my God. Oh my God. I don't know about you guys, but like, there's those days and those moments where you just feel so motivated. Just like insane levels of inspiration and this motivation and feeling where it's like, if I got this at eight o'clock at night or like 10, I would not sleep that night. I wouldn't sleep at all because of this adrenaline feeling that I have. Ah. This is why I moved to Orange County. This is one of the main reasons, to watch the boss who I work for, my boss, watch him work. I wanna be in his position so badly. And I don't share what it looks like, what he does, but it's just so like, I'll share, I'll share it later, but I, I wanna start another project. I have an idea in the back of my head that I wanna do. I'm gonna pursue it, I'm gonna make it happen. I wanna look back at this day five years from now and be like, I'm thankful that I did that. I'm thankful that I started that project. I'm thankful that I had that inspiration on August 5th, 2016. This is too much not to act on it. This is way too much not to act on this idea. Just seeing someone else have exactly what you want. I just want it so badly. I want that same thing. I want a lot of things in life and I want to help I want to help others become inspired and so they can become they can become whatever they want. They can do whatever they want in life and that's what I'm gonna do, you know. I may spread myself thin a little bit with ten different projects, but damn it, I enjoy this. Damn, I love what I do. I love what I do. I love every second of what I do. I love everything that I'm doing right now. There's just a little bit more that I can do. The last, I don't like holding the camera. I'm gonna put this up somewhere. It is beautiful outside and somehow I always do this. Oh, I wanna go out there so badly, but I wanna work. I'm gonna tell a quick story. I know that I tend to go on and on with these stories for a very long time. Let me turn on my AC real quick. In 2010 was when I got my first job with Symbolic Motors and I pretty much made my way around from Symbolic Motors to Lamborghini and McLaren Newport Beach in 2012. Came back to Symbolic Motors in 2014. Actually, I think it was 2013. And then O'Gara Coach took over in 2015. They bought Symbolic Motors and now I work for Ilux and Iluso, which is owned by McLaren and Lamborghini Newport Beach. They're all a big dealer group, including Ferrari and Maserati. Orange County. And one of the things that I noticed throughout the years of being at these dealerships is that the general manager or the owner, I know it's a lot of stress. I know it's a lot to go under as far as dealing with all your employees and the cars and like the overhead and the money and I understand that. But there's nothing like watching somebody who owns a dealership walk around and have everyone want to go to them for their problems or them for the answer. And I don't think I've ever wanted it more in my whole life until now. I've always liked being that person that people go to for problems or issues or questions or answers that I'm happy to answer. I'm happy to talk to people and help them out because seeing them being able to resolve a problem, it makes me feel good because I feel like I did something for somebody else. That is something that has a big impact on me and I know a lot of cars, I know a lot of people get happiness through seeing cars in person or going to car shows or going to events or going to car dealerships and that's where I got my therapy. You know, when I was going through the grieving process of losing somebody in my life, I went to car dealerships and that was what made me happy. That's kind of what I want to do now is, um, 
yeah, I want to start my own car dealership. I, I just, I, I don't feel like a lot of people broadcast the process of having a company or having a dealership or having a business or whatever. And I'm trying to broadcast that to the world to show you guys what it's like. And I want to share this journey with you because I hope that in like five years I get to look back at this and be like, whoa, you thought of that idea then now you have a dealership. And that's, that's what I want to think of. That's what I want to implant into my head. I'm learning as much as I can. I'm absorbing everything around me. I'm listening to all my coworkers. I'm watching what people are doing. I'm picking up all these own ways that I can implement their ways into my own dealership and not necessarily stealing, but learning the ways that work and the ways that don't work. Everything from reception jobs to marketing to sales to financing to wholesale, I'm learning as much as I can. I've been just listening for the last seven years of my life and I'm ready to really take action and help others listen too. Yeah, that's the next project. Burke Motor Car Company, in honor of Symbolic Motor Car Company, my first job. I wanna start a Highline car dealership in the next two to three years. After I get my clothing line, or during I get my clothing line, and my other companies and my photography company, and while I do YouTube, and while I work for another car dealership, and while I do Instagram marketing, and consulting, and all the other jobs that I have right now that I'm doing, I'm hoping that I can have my own place one day, and hopefully hire one of you guys. We'll, we'll see where it goes from there. I'm gonna start working really hard to get my own place. And it doesn't mean anytime soon, it's a big investment, but I really want my own dealership. I just have to start making the action to have it you know, happen sooner than I thought. Because I really, watching that person, the way that they operate, oh God, it's so inspiring. Okay guys, I have to finish this vlog. Um, I wanna edit this vlog right now and get it up tonight. And then tomorrow's Lamborghini Newport Beach show. So I want to get this out as soon as I can. Uh, it's like I have my phone holding up my... I have my phone right there. Um, I want to give you guys a quick house tour too. It's been a while, but nothing's really changed in here. I just kind of put everything away. I pulled in a few boxes from my car, just a bunch of clothes and stuff, but still working on this talk show stuff. It might be on hold for a bit just because of the financial situation I'm in. Um, my dining room table, I don't know what I'm going to do with. I'm going to get some chairs, but... Kitchen's nice. I made salmon there a night with one of my friends. It was really good. She's a really good cook. She treated me really nicely into a, a nice dinner. Um, couch and main living room area. This is my bathroom. Simple bathroom. Nothing crazy. And then I don't have a, a bed frame. I don't really use any of this stuff to be honest. I use the desk a little bit, but that TV, I don't like to watch TV in my bedroom, but this is my bed and my closet right here. It's a nice big walk-in closet. That's it guys, thank you so much for watching. I wanna finish this video tonight. Please subscribe and give the video a big thumbs up and I'll see you tomorrow.